Hey, I'm Flavor D, I'm a DJ producer, and I've teamed up with Pirate and Virtuoso to show you how to DJ using professional DJ decks. I'm gonna go through the art of blending two tunes together. We're gonna to show you how to use effects, EQs, and basically connect all the dots on how to get that perfect blend. So let's get into it. So before we start to DJ, let's familiarize ourselves with the functions. So let's start with the mixer section. Always find in the center of the DJ setup. This allows the DJ to control the signal coming from the decks. So you've got your channels here, which controls the volume of whatever tune is playing. So typically you wanna have that all the way up. And then the channel faders adjust the volume up here as well. So make sure all your gains are level. And sometimes you might get a tune that's quieter than the other, for example, if it's not mastered. So you might wanna just give that a slight push, but generally just keep them all level for now. So the gain adjusts the channel's overall volume. And then on this section, we've got our EQs. So we have the high EQ here. We've got our mids and we've got our lows. And that with these, we can just customize how we mix. So if you wanna boost the lows of a tune, boost the highs, the mids, whatever it is, and sometimes a tune might need that boost on the low end, whether it's mastered or not. So it's really handy to sort of mess with them and, and get it sounding right in the mix. And then another feature I like to use on the effects is filter. So you have quite a range of effects here. You've got a dub echo, you've got some noise, and you've got some crush. And to use those, you can control the gauge from these knobs here. So if I wanted to change the filter on the tune that would be playing on this deck, you would just control it by this. Obviously the higher up, the more of an intense filter you're gonna get. And same with you going low. So we have our cue buttons here on this section. And what that does, it allows you to hear what you're playing in your headphones, which is very important for when you get in that mix to sound perfect. So if I wanted to hear a tune playing in this deck, which is channel three, you would just highlight this. So when it's orange, you know it's activated. And to get volume in your headphones, you wanna make sure first off that your headphones are plugged in. And this knob right here controls the volume. So just, you don't wanna have it all the way, obviously, but halfway is usually good. And if I wanna hear the music playing in deck two, which is channel two, just highlight that. And you can listen to both tunes at the same time if you have these both selected. So the channel faders adjust the volume of each channel. So when you're mixing your two tracks, you wanna make sure these are up all the way and also make sure these are level. But if there's a certain tune that is lacking a bit on the volume, whether it's a pre-master or it's just a new idea, you would just give that a slight push up here. So the crossfader adjusts the balance between both channels. So some people like to not mix bringing in the volume. Some people like to just go from left to right. It's really personal preference. For me personally, I just like to keep it in the middle and then whatever tune I'm mixing in, just use these two. But yeah, it is personal taste of how you wanna use it. We've got our effects knobs over here. So I'm a big fan of echo and I'll show you how I use that, but you have all these different tempos and you've got your reverb. You can control how much reverb you want. By the end of this video course, you should have the confidence to use any decks and before you know it, you'll be dropping mixes like a pro.